Um, um. Okay, I meditated every day for 10 minutes. And that was 30 consecutive days and counting. I mean, I've been going consistently meditating. Yeah, at least 10 minutes every day. And I thought I'd share my initial findings and why I meditated. Hmm. I have, uh, all, I am uh, I'm constantly thinking about a lot of different things. My mind is constantly buzzing and I never really kind of sit and stop to, to really let those thoughts kind of settle and let them kind of float by, you know? I, I, I'm constantly, like, my mind's constantly activated, and it's kind of annoying, at least from my perspective. It's just constant ideas flowing, and I'm kind of tired of it. So I decided, well, I was watching some videos or learning some learning resources, and, oh, the suggestion is, like, sit and meditate for, like, 10 minutes every day and uh, like build that practice and then I, I looked at a number of successful people like billionaires and meditation seems to be like this morning practice so a lot of them are sitting with their thoughts constantly so i thought okay fine i'll try this out and see what happens and uh you'd think that maybe 10 minutes isn't that long well it could be long for some, it could be shorter for others, depending on where you are with your mind. If you have, um, if you kind of struggle to sit still, then then 10 minutes could actually be torturous, right? Because you're thinking, oh, initially, oh yeah, I could do this. And then you try to sit still for like 10 minutes and it just, you're just driving yourself crazy and you're thinking, oh, when's the clock going to stop, right? And like this whole meditation practice, so the way I did it, it's very simple. I just sit, I sit cross-legged as I am doing this video, I'm just kind of upright posture sitting. And then I close my eyes, I set my timer for 10 minutes or 11 minutes for that extra just to settle in and uh, just kind of sit with the thoughts. And I don't try to eliminate the thoughts, but I always try to like be present. So I think about um, just kind of calming the mind down, but also being aware that thoughts are floating by. It's all very spiritual stuff. I'm not very hokey-dokey with all this kind of spiritual stuff but um, if if I if I can get a better grasp of the mind or I can control thoughts that are maybe bothering me or things that are bothering me in the world if I can kind of get a better control on those or ha handle any bursts of anger you know sometimes I'm like get very angry, if I can kind of control that, then okay, I'll, I'll try this meditation because maybe it'll help. It'll help me be more mindful of what's happening in my mind. And that's a good thing, I would say. You can control your cognitive abilities. You can put your thoughts together. Maybe you can make better decisions. You can think more clearly and articulate yourself more clearly. I think those are all benefits. So it's a worthwhile endeavor, but it's really that simple. I didn't use any apps. I don't think you need to. I would argue that guided meditation is not meditation. It's just consumption of an external thing. People will disagree, but when I was looking through it, I, you know, I, tried, I tried this one session, okay, in addition to my 10-minute meditation. I tried this session of 30 minutes of guided meditation, and afterwards I'm thinking, you know, I was too busy listening to this person guiding me through it that I, 
I didn't really sit with my thoughts. I was busy consuming this guided meditation. I'm thinking, this isn't even meditation. No, meditation is you just sitting with your own thoughts, not having these external things affecting what's going on. Because it's way easier to sit and watch somebody guide you through something. You know, for the initial couple times, I can understand it. You sit, you watch the guided meditation. But anyway, I mean, there's many different ways of doing this. Guided meditation is probably better than nothing. Uh, but, you know, we don't need to make it as complicated as people are with all these apps and stuff and different tutorials and videos. It's really as simple as kind of sitting and letting the thoughts float by. As I, in a nutshell, all the research that I was looking at of all the people, the, the true leaders in this area, that's basically what they recommend. So to make it more convoluted than that is unnecessary. Uh, but this simple practice, the results for me. Let's talk about the results. Well, certainly I was able to catch myself on things that kind of popped up in my mind, maybe things that bothered me throughout the day. I was able to, whoa, I was like, stop and reflect on that a bit. Uh, overall, did I notice a significant change? Maybe a feeling of more calmness throughout the day? Sure, yeah. I think 30 days is too soon to really understand the benefits. The They've done brain scans on meditation, people who've meditated and people who haven't, and it seems like meditation will activate more parts of your brain, so it'll improve your cognitive function in a number of different areas. There's other benefits like your focus and whatnot. Has my focus improved? Mm, questionable. Uh, meditation can also help with like addictive things. So, um, have I noticed any improvement? No, I still like exercising probably more than I should, but I also think exercise can be a form of meditation. Uh, not really, but. I mean, you can use it as a form of meditation. Say you're running, you're just running in a loop, and you're constantly running, and you're following a similar routine, and your brain sort of gets into this mode of exercise, and it becomes it becomes I don't know, very very mindful. I guess you start to let your thoughts kind of drift in. It can be a form of meditation, for sure. Maybe for some people who need to be moving somewhat, then running could be helpful. Uh, you know, when I was looking at like my aches and pains as I'm exercising, I noticed that the pain was more tolerable. Like I my knees were starting to hurt, and I'm thinking, okay, well, my knees kind of hurt, but actually, it's not bothering my mind as much. That's actually kind of what I noticed, and that is aligned with the benefits of the meditation, is that you, you can feel less pain. It becomes more subdued. That's sort of what I noticed. Uh, there are a host of other benefits, but that's what I initially noticed on my 30 days. I would recommend you could start with like two minutes. I started with 10, it wasn't too crazy. And then occasionally I might do more. I actually set a goal of trying to do 33 minutes, but then I realized, whoa, this is too ambitious. So I, I dialed it back down. So I'm back down to like 10 minutes consistently, which I think is better than driving yourself crazy with this. I believe it should be enjoyable. If it's not enjoyable, you might need to adjust what it is you're doing. Is your chair comfortable enough? Maybe you're not sitting in a comfortable position. It should be comfortable. You shouldn't be aggravated. Your back shouldn't hurt. I initially was doing meditation with no support on my back, and for whatever reason, 
my back was hurting. I, I couldn't finish a 10 minute session. This was like a year or two ago. So then I stopped doing meditation for a while because my back just couldn't handle it. So yeah, I think the support helps for your back. And then, you know, feeling comfortable and actually looking forward to it. I think if you look forward to your meditation routine, then you'll stick with it. So maybe 10 minutes is not working for you. And dial it back down to like two minutes. If you could just sit sit with yourself for two minutes a day, then you can maybe work it up to the 10, maybe go beyond that. Some people are doing like an hour a day. It's just awesome. It's insane, but awesome. I don't know how I could sit for an hour. I'm not really there yet, but maybe down the road. We'll see. I think that covers it. Uh, I'm going to continue with this. Who knows, maybe down the road I'll do another video 60 days later or 90 days later. And do I think it's beneficial? Well, look, if you're only looking at it as a 10 minute addition to your day, I mean, come on, is it really that difficult to add in? It's not that difficult. So that 30 days of meditating, it can fly by fairly quickly. So it's worth it. I give it a try. See what kind of benefits will work for you. Um, I'm noticing a lot of cognitive adjustments. Just, I mean, they're not they're not dramatic adjustments, but they're significant enough where I'm thinking, wow, that's that's beneficial. Let me continue with this. Okay, that's it. Till next time. Bye.